Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to Tammy's Table. Thank you all so much for joining me back here at the table once again. Well, tonight, everyone, I'm going to be doing a delicious stir-fried cabbage. Uh, I'm going to show you how I put mine together. Um, if you never had a stir-fried cabbage, you're in for a treat, okay, because it's so delicious. Um, it's also, if you're trying to do the keto diet, just an FYI, this will be a good go-to. Of course, it doesn't have any carbs in it, any sugar, anything like that. So I think it's a good go-to. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I put mine together. Um, there's nothing else said or done here. We're going to head on over to the table. Before I go, though, I want to thank all of my current subscribers, all of my supporters. I do appreciate each and every one of you. So without anything else said or done here, let's head on over to the table to get things started. Oh, I hope everyone is doing well. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this delicious stir fry cabbage. So I'm going to introduce to you all of what I'm going to be putting into my cabbage on tonight. Okay, so of course we have our head of cabbage here. Uh, make sure when you do purchase your cabbage that... You clean your cabbage really good after you cut it. Uh, clean it really good, wash it, because um, of course you know it comes out of the ground. Uh, I do have some pieces here just to show you for those of you that never have cooked the cabbage before. Of course it comes out of the ground, so you have some, you know, some marks like this on your on the outside of the cabbage. So I peel the outside away, most of the, the uh, rough parts, I'll peel that away until I get to a good area that I'm satisfied with using. So discard the bad parts of your cabbage, okay? Wash and clean it. We're going to be using an onion. This is a half an onion. Uh, I'm not going to use a lot of the onions, so just while I cut it in half. So we're going to put some onion in there. Our peppers, I have uh, the red, orange, and yellow. You can use whatever you want in your stir fry cabbage of course if you don't want any peppers you don't have to use any so it's optional all of this is of course for uh, flavor and it also makes your dish look very appealing okay I'm gonna be putting some turkey sausage in so I'm gonna cut this up but if you don't want sausage and you rather use bacon you can I would not be using bacon in mine this time uh, I chose to go with turkey sausage and use turkey uh, meat instead of pork. So uh, I'm going to be using turkey sausage. Also, I'm going to be using some smoked turkey necks. So you can use anything that you want, of course, that will be satisfying to you. Um, later, we're going to put in some shrimp. I've already deveined and cleaned these shrimp here, so we're going to season these later and add that to our stir fry cabbage. And the seasonings for the shrimp, I'm going to use some minced garlic and fishmonger seafood blend seasonings and obey and of course some paprika and black pepper for my cabbage uh, garlic and garlic butter and herb seasoning uh, onion and garlic powder of course i'm going to use a no salt herb seasoning and Gonna use seasoning salt because I don't want a lot of salt, but I do want flavor. So I'm using my salt uh, from here, from the seasoned salt, and then I put my herb in there. Hey, it's no salt, so that works. We don't want it to be too much salt where you can't enjoy your your, your meal. So um, black pepper, bayou Cajun seasoning, and of course the paprika. So. We're going to go ahead and get things uh, cut up and prepared for cooking. So if you'll hold tight, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so we have everything prepared for cooking. Um, I've washed my turkey necks really good. So be sure that when you do purchase your, your meat, be sure to always wash them. You know, you don't, you don't want to just take it straight out the pack, okay? Uh, make sure you uh, rinse some water over your meat before cooking, okay? So these are ready. Um, here's my turkey sausage. I just cut it up in, you know, little pieces like this here. Nothing fancy. Um, you can use whatever you like. As mentioned earlier, if you like to use pork sausage, you can. This is just the uh, sausage that I'm going with tonight, which is turkey sausage. 
Of course, I showed you earlier my shrimp. We have our peppers cut up here and onions. Nothing fancy again, just slice them up. And I try to do them semi, you know, not, nothing too thin or too, too thick, but you know, kind of that happy medium. And then we have our um, cabbage. Again, nothing fancy, just cut your cabbage up so we can get ready to cook it. It's not gonna take very long to cook cabbage. Um, 15 minutes tops, so it doesn't take very long. What I forgot to mention earlier that I'm going to add into my cabbage I'm going to put in some chopped collard greens just for the color, okay? They'll just add some color, of course, to taste but I'm going to add some chopped collard greens along with my cabbage so that's my spin You can do um, the cabbage without the collard greens, of course but um, I've had this recipe before, um, and I really, really did like the taste of the collards mixed in with the cabbage. So we're going to do it again here on camera for you all to see. Okay, so hold tight. Let's go ahead and head to the stove and get things cooking. Okay, so I'm going to be putting my uh, smoked turkey necks here into my pressure cooker. Um, it'll just save on a lot of time. Um, so we're going to use the pressure cooker. I'm going to put some chicken broth inside. You can use water if you do not have chicken broth. Again, the broth adds for more flavor. So if you do not have chicken broth, use some water. I'm going to add in some chicken bouillon flavor to help season that broth a little bit more. Again, we want that flavor. That's what we're looking for. Again, if you don't have any chicken broth and you just have water, just put just some chicken bouillon flavor into your water if you have this. If you don't, just use the water. Perfectly fine. It's all about what you put in to season your food with, okay? As long as you put something in. And I'm just going to add in just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is add in my chopped collard greens in here along with my turkey necks, okay? So they can all cook together. And uh, here they are again. Again, they're the chopped collard greens. You can buy the fresh collard greens um, in the produce section. Um, either way is perfectly fine. Um, I just opted for the chop because I'm just going to put some in just to go with my cabbage for color and also for uh, taste. But uh, it just really all comes together really well. Just add in your your turkey necks. If you want to use turkey legs, you can. These are smoked turkey necks. All right, we'll be right back.
Okay, so my stir fry cabbage is done now. I'm just waiting for my collard greens to get done and uh, we're going to add that to the pot here. I had to change my, my pan out and get a, a deeper one, more like a wok, so I can put everything in. So we're going to add our collard greens, our smoked neck bones, our smoked neck bones, and our shrimp, sausage, and peppers, okay? So this is our stir fry. See all the seasonings in there? That's what you want. You want that flavor. You want that flavor. So let's head over and check on our smoked neck bones, okay? Our turkey smoked neck bones. Okay, so we're going to see they are done. It took about, I set it for about 45 minutes um, just so I could make sure my smoked turkey bones, neck bones are uh, tender. And my collard greens, it takes a little longer than cabbage to cook. So that's the reason why I did not add the collard greens to the cabbage. Because it only takes about 15 minutes for cabbage to cook. Once it withers down, it's pretty much done. But the um, collard greens, they're a little tougher. So it takes a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to check on these now to see what everything looks like. smells wonderful smells good we're gonna go ahead now and dig in here and see oh yeah that looks good collard greens stuck on there so yeah we're gonna go ahead and take these up hold tight okay so here's our smoked turkey necks here uh, the, the bone, of course, is still um, intact right here. Some of the meat, I just haven't um, finished shredding the meat off of this bone here. But um, I just wanted to show you what I did. So basically, it's already pretty tender. So I'm just going to just shred it off the bone, okay? I'm not going to put the entire bone inside. But that is optional. If you choose to do that, you can. And be careful of any small bones in here. You want to feel your way through so you're not, you know, putting bones in along with the meat. Because there are some small, tiny bones the further you get down uh, as you're shredding. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and put everything together here. And I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so as you can see, our cabbage has withered down quite a bit. It doesn't take very long to cook, only about 15 minutes tops, um, and it cooks down quite a bit. So um, we're going to go ahead and add in our uh, collard greens here. And you're just going to mix it all together. And it has all that good juice, all that seasoning. Okay, that's in the bottom. So that's going to add for all the good flavor that we want. Let's see, let's add in some, some peppers here. Add in our sausage. We're gonna add in our shrimp. All that goodness from that shrimp. We want all of that flavor to come together. And then we're gonna add in our smoked turkey necks. I'm just going to mix everything together.
All righty. All right, that is that. We're going to go ahead and plate this and see what it tastes like. Hold tight. Okay, so we're here. This is the final finished product, the final product of the uh, stir-fried cabbage with the collard greens, along with all the meat and peppers and onions that I added to it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Just a whole lot of goodness. <laughs> That's what it is, a whole lot of goodness. So we're going to go ahead and plate it up and see what it tastes like. i got to taste it for you. So there's that turkey, that smoked turkey. Doesn't that look good? Along with those peppers and sausage and shrimp. Man. All right, so let's give this a taste test. So can I get a little bit of everything? Shrimp. Give me a pepper in there. Yeah, I got a pepper. What else I'm missing, y'all? Do I have everything? Shrimp, turkey, pepper, cabbage. And I get, I just get some more of that cabbage. How about that? All right, here goes. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is delicious. All of that flavor has come together. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. I'm going to show you what I'm tasting along with all of this meat and stuff, okay? Mm. You see what's left over in here? That's all that goodness. That's a combination of all the seasonings that I put on my meat and my cabbage. Also, along with that uh, chicken broth that I put my turkey neck in and the uh, chicken bouillon. Remember, we we flavored that as well. So, all of this has come together, along with all of those other delicious seasonings. So, when I take a bite, I'm eating all of that juice and all of that, all of the flavors. This is delicious. Feel free, if you want, to add as much cabbage, or if you choose to add collard greens, that's a plus as well. I mean, all of it is so, so good. It's very delicious. But, choose... Uh, if you like to add more of each, like if you feel like you want more cabbage or more collard greens to go into yours, it's optional. You do how you want. You cannot go wrong with it. Um, again, if you don't want the peppers and onions and all that stuff in yours, you just may want you, you may just want the turkey, the smoked turkey. Again, do how you want. But I'm telling you, all of this is good. The shrimp, all of this has come together really good. So, <clears throat> that's the end of the uh, video, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop here because if not, I'm just going to keep eating. And I, I, and I hate that I can't share it with you. <laughs> but I can share the recipe. So, again, just feel free to go back as many times as you need to to, um, you know, do this for yourself at home. Give it a try if you're interested. Again, I only bring really quick easy short fun meals to you you got you all from my table to yours nothing really hard about it as far as the um amount of seasonings that i put in that's totally optional you can put whatever you want that was just the seasonings that i chose to use uh for this dish but whatever you want uh put how much of each season that you want you season to your taste again i do not measure i cook with love so i can eyeball it because i've been cooking for quite a while now so I kind of know what, what I want. And then, of course, you can taste as you go if you need to. But, you know, I pretty much hit the nail on the head with this one. I didn't really do any tasting in between. That was my first taste and my first try with you all. So, again, I just decided to add the collard greens in there. And it just all come together really, really good. So, 
that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Tammy's Table. It's always a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to bring easy meals to you once again, as mentioned, and so glad to have you here. I look forward to bringing you more fun and easy meals. Um, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any family members that might be interested and want to learn how to cook easy meals, bring them on board. I would love to have them as well. Just let them know and spread the word. Hey, come to Tammy's table. We welcome everyone. Okay? So if there's nothing else, we look forward to seeing you on, on next time. And I hope you have a wonderful night, day, or whatever is in your time zone. Bye-bye.